Hello everyone. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the process of studying a sculpture. I personally find studying sculpture is very interesting because I love how they create the light and shadow with just carving out piece of marble. It's just really amazing to me. These marble statues look realer than real people sometimes. I don't know how to explain that feeling but I just really love it. So for this I was studying the artist Yuming Li. Their works are surreal, aesthetic and extravagant and everything fancy. I would highly recommend you to check out their works if you haven't already. So I decided to go for a bit colorful approach. It also makes the work look more interesting than just black and white. If you notice their works, many of those have a blue, violet, purple aka cold kind of highlights with warm shadows going on. And that's what I tried to do here. I probably could have made the highlights more saturated or bluish but then again I wanted to stay true to the reference. I have this issue with trying to stay too true to the reference and I'm trying to get out of it. Like many other of my studies, I did not start with line art but with shapes. It's super easy for me to look at the silhouette and figure out the shape rather than creating an outline. I really need to work on my line art skills because they suck. So if you are not worried about using liquify tools or you don't need any line art in your piece, then you can do this shape study like me. All you need to do is look at the bigger shape then slowly adding small details to it. It's almost like you are actually doing real sculpting. Everyone knows that they start with big piece of stone and then carve out the details. So yes, you can tell that I am kind of sculpting. As for the brushes, I have used Yuming's free Photoshop brush pack. It's not Photoshop, but you know, you can use Photoshop brushes on Procreate as well. You can find the brush link in their Instagram bio. There's also a premium brush pack from them. I have not used it, but I can tell that is going to be really cool because the one I have used was really, really good. The textured brushes were my favorites. Like I told you before, I am trying to get away from the influence of reference. So here I tried my best to not be too bothered by the face, shape and proportions. Because you can definitely see that the one I made and the one is in the reference have different face shape. The overall thing might be similar but it's not exactly same. And I also tried to keep the details minimal. I tried to keep the details around the eyes and lips. I also tried to keep the details of the hair subtle as well. And the part which are not getting a lot of light, I also did not try to add too much detail there. Just a little hint of light and shadow should do the trick. It should create an illusion of detail. And that's what I try to do here.
I really regret doing one thing. That is, I accidentally used the glow option and made the entire thing super bright. I did not want that to happen. My goal was to make the contrast low, like Yuming's works. If you notice, you can see there is no drastically high contrast in the main subject. There could be contrast in the background, but the main subject does not really have a lot of contrast going on, so that was a blunder from my side. I did not notice that I didn't click undo and kept on working. And then when I noticed it, it was too late. Because most of the things were done in a single layer, so reversing everything after working so hard would be devastating. So I had to manage it somehow in the post-production work. It's about time I show you how I managed to bring down the overall brightness of the artwork. So what I did was duplicated all the layers into one and then added luminosity layer over it. It helps with reducing the contrast but you have to tweak the opacity of this layer to match your test. And I also increased the saturation because that was my original intention. But still, I felt like it's not complete. So I decided to go back to my safe heaven, aka Ibis Paint. And then I used color gradation. After going through a lot of preset options, I chose something that made the bottom half warmer and the top half cooler. It's not really the authentic Yuming Lee style, but I just wanted to do it. Probably that was the reflection of my personal preference. This was not a full study of Yuming's work, but in future I definitely would like to do one. It was more like a normal studying with adding some of their elements. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.